this beautiful day here in Herefordshire. I'm Sally Pointer, I'm out for a spot of hedge bothering and today we're looking at one of my favourite vegetables. This is burdock. The official name of burdock is Arctium lapa and it's very important when you're picking anything to eat that you can make a positive ID for it. Fortunately burdock's really easy. It's one of the largest leaf plants you'll easily find in the British countryside. It has these large, slightly wavy edged leaves, which are a lot paler on the underside. Branching out from the very thick stem, and this is the second year growth, this stem is going to become the flower spikes in the not too distant future. And this is the bit we're after. Now for most people in Britain today, their familiarity with burdock comes from the dandelion and burdock which you can still find in the fizzy pop aisles in most supermarkets and the roots are very good eating but you do need landowners permission to dig you can see the flowers starting to form in there so we're getting it at just the right time all i need to do is get out my knife and we'll pop this off fairly low down and have a look at it I've cut a stem from the burdock. This is the centre stem we were looking at a moment ago. And I've taken off most of the side leaves. Now I'm not just going to leave these in a heap in the middle of the field. I'm going to tuck those away into the hedge where they'll break down naturally. A lot of people do eat the leaf stalk. Personally, I find it a little bit on the bitter side. And I think you get much, much better eating out of the main stem. All we're going to do in the field is trim off the rest of the leaves. Then I'll take the stalk home and I'll show you how to prepare it when we're back in the kitchen. Having quickly peeled that first stalk, I've actually decided it may be a little bit too mature. Those flower buds on top are a bit of a giveaway. So I'm going to refocus my attentions on these much smaller, much younger ones. With anything that you're picking as a stalk, you really don't want them too old and woody. So we'll have a little try of those, we'll compare them later. Having picked my burdock, I think it might be my last pick of the season. Everything's really well developed now. And we don't want those stalks to be bitter. So we'll let them flower and there'll be lots more next year. What I've got though should make for a really nice stir fry tonight. Back home and we can prepare this burdock. As I mentioned out in the field, some of this is pretty much starting to flower. And this definitely means to me that this is going to be the very last bit that we prepare this year. This bit should still be nice and tender. The bottom of that first large stalk I picked, well, can you see how woody it is in the middle? I don't think that's going to be good eating at all. If I cut into it, oh, that's really tough, even with this really sharp knife. And the bit that we want is this very, very centre section. I'm just going to test a bit, but I think I'm going to find that this bit is a little on the st stringy side. So I'm going to trim away all of the woody outer part. Now I can already tell this, but it's not going to be any much, any fun. We'll try it though. Take a little bit, give it a taste. You'll soon know if it's too woody to be enjoyable. That's a shame. I wouldn't have picked that if I'd really thought about it. Always important to be mindful when you pick things out in the wild. We don't want to waste them. This bit should be fine though. Take the top off. Take it into sections and it's that lovely white or very pale green centre section we're after. It's usually easiest just to make smaller sections, trim away all of the outer part and that is important because the outer bark can be quite bitter. I'm going to cut these into smallish pieces. I'm going to be stir frying them very much like um, bamboo shoots I suppose. And Put them into salt water where well, they'll sit happily until I'm ready to do dinner later. So just trim away all of the outer section. Now people have been eating burdock probably for many thousands of years. It's native or at the very least naturalised to most temperate areas, which means you find it all the way from China through Northern Europe through Britain. It's certainly mentioned in medieval writings. For medicinal as well as culinary purposes. Hildegard of Bingen is quite keen on it, for example. I don't see any reason at all to suppose that it's not something that was eaten by our prehistoric ancestors. The texture 
is well, it's probably quite similar to the centre part of a broccoli stalk if you're in the habit of slicing that up to stir fry. The flavour, well sometimes people say it's got a slightly artichokey flavour, I'm not sure I'd agree with that. Uh, it's just a pleasant green vegetable. If you prepare it with too much of the outer green section on it can have a slightly bitter note but I don't necessarily find that unpleasant uh, but generally pare it down well get it into salt water that will stop it browning but it will also help leach out any residual bitterness and then you can either steam it or stir fry it or add it to stews it's quite versatile I am cutting more aggressively at this time of the season earlier on in the year pretty much all of the stalk was worth eating but it's got to be pleasant there's no point eating everything just because you picked it if it's not nice to eat well you've not really gained anything have you so I'm going to cut this right down if you get to a bit where you're not sure again take a little bit off give it a taste decide whether that's to your taste or not so far so good we're not getting a bad yield off this Cap, anything that you pick in the wild that you're planning on eating, it is absolutely essential that you're 100% certain of the identification. I'll put up a little flag on this post with the scientific name on it. Do look it up if you're not certain that the plants you have around you are the same as the ones that I've got around me. There are several varieties of burdock at different places around the world. I don't think you're going to have too much difficulty identifying this one. It is one of the easier ones, but learn from my mistake in not getting to this a few days earlier. If your burdock is starting to flower, well, you're really on the very last possible timeline for enjoying it as a vegetable this season. I'll sign off there. Happy foraging. If you've enjoyed this video, please do consider subscribing to our channel. We're making new videos all the time and it's really useful to get your feedback and find out what works for people. And I'll see you on the next one.